Hi, I'm Maya Barron of Virginia Track and Field, and I'm here today talking with Philip Mihalovich about his um, performances at the NCAA Indoor Championships and at the World Indoor Championships, which uh, happened just last week in Portland, Oregon, where he competed for Croatia. So at the NCAA Indoor Championships, you took second place with a mark of 20.47 meters in the shot put and then followed that up just one week later with a bronze medal at the World Indoor Championships and a new personal best of 20.87 meters. So how has your training this year led you to be able to perform at such a high level back-to-back -back like that? Uh, we have changed a little bit our training, not a whole lot. Uh, definitely training smarter than last year because last year I opened up well, but I kind of dropped down uh, in season. This year we, my shape, I was in shape all year long and I've been able to perform well at the big meets which I was really satisfied with my performances all year long yeah. opening up in 2069 in Kentucky and then keeping my shape uh, on a really, really high level until the last meet in Oregon. Yeah absolutely. Um, so coming off of that great performance at NCAAs how did you feel confidence wise going into the world championships? Did you expect to medal? Was that a surprise for you? Um, how did you feel physically going into it? Uh, I felt awesome because my best last two throws were NCAA were in the last two attempts, so I definitely felt like uh, my confidence level was higher than coming into NCAA's. Uh, physically, I felt great. Uh, I had a bunch of PRs in the weight room and on the in, on the field too, so I knew I was ready for a PR. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was going to be a medal. I kind of expected it in the deep of my heart, like I was hoping for it, yeah. but I couldn't expect a medal. But I knew if I do well, if I'm focused on what what I have to do to reach my goal, I knew it was going to be uh, definitely a satisfaction on the first and then yeah. medal itself was awesome. Great. So um, you mentioned the weight room. How important is getting in the weight room for you throwers? How much does that affect your performances? Well, that's, it's, I mean, it's really important for us because that's our sprinters have running to get right. stronger and to get like in better shape. We do lifting. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it definitely helps a lot. Uh, I, I've gotten stronger this year in every single exercise I'm doing right now. So definitely I was expecting better results than last year. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, the weight room definitely affects my performances a lot. So the fact that you um, were a bronze, bronze medalist at the World Indoor Championships and still play second at NCAAs is a true testament to how competitive NCAA track and field is. Um, which meet did you feel had the fiercest competition overall? Uh, I feel like World Championships was like definitely the best competition because there were so many people. There was eight people coming to meet with over 21 meters. Wow. Uh, I've never competed in that deep field. Yeah. Uh, NCAAs was definitely special too because that's all collegiate athletes. Mm -hmm. We all have the same uh, obligations, studying and working mm -hmm. in a busy schedules. While I was competing against, against professionals at the Worlds, uh, they just train and they don't right. do anything else but throw. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but definitely World Championship was like most competitive. Uh, I felt the best in Kentucky. I felt like I got the most out of myself in Kentucky when I threw 2069. Uh, but I felt, I felt like NCAAs and World Championship was like much more enjoyable because of the deepness of the field that uh -huh. I had against me. Sure. So um, obviously you are coming from Croatia where you've competed um, in the European um, Under-23 Championships and um, uh, several other European Championships. What made you make the decision to leave home and come halfway across the world to um, train and compete here for UVA? Uh, I wanted to do sports school. Mm -hmm. and train on a higher level on the tra of the track. Uh, here we have everything we need facilities wise. Right. Uh, I mean we have everything I need for my training for recovery and for training and then I have academics on the side too because we all know that UVA is one of the best academic schools right. in the country and my degree means a lot to me. Uh, it doesn't it's at the same level as my sports. I just want to make it my degree. And then my family, they all have degrees, uh, even master de master's degrees. So I just want to get my, master, uh, my degree to be complete with my life, kind of. Yeah, of course. So obviously we all know that this is an Olympic year with the um, Summer Olympics coming up this summer in Rio. Um, what are your plans going into the summer, given that it is an Olympic year? Uh, I'll have a long season. I mean, I already started in January, mm -hmm. and I'll end up in <laughs> at Olympics. So I don't expect too much of myself because I know it's going to be a long, long season. Yeah. So I, I know I'll be really tired by the time Olympics come around. Uh, but I'll, I'll give my best, and I'll take one day at a time mm -hmm. uh, and just take, 
try to prepare for Olympics as best as possible. Yeah, well, who knows? You may surprise yourself, and we'll definitely all be cheering for you, and it'll be awesome to see you competing for Croatia at the 2016 Olympics. So I wish you luck this outdoor season. Can't wait to see you out on the track and on the field. And this is Philip Mihalovic, and I'm Maya Barron with Virginia Track and Field. Thanks for watching.